this is Simi Core, joined by UFC fighter Mickey Gall. Mickey, how are you today? I'm doing great. Another day in paradise. Yeah. <laughs> we love that, don't we? I know you just got out of training. You had training this morning. So let's just jump right into it. Um, has your training style changed since debut? I know you have had a mixture of different stuff included in your fights, but how's that going? Well, training has, is constantly evolving. If you're not doing like different things, like uh, it'd be hard to evolve. So training's constantly evolving. Um, Right now, I'm training down in Florida at uh, Sanford MMA, which is like a, like a you know, world-renowned gym. Training them with guys all over the world. Every round's a battle. Um, yeah, so it's it's different now because I'm I'm at a different camp than I I normally am, and uh, but it's awesome. I'm really loving it. Did it take you long to adjust to the new camp? I'm still doing it. I'm only like a week in. Mm. Um, but it's it's awesome. I I know it's uh. This is like a good place for me to be for myself and uh, like for best thing for my career. And uh, are you training with any, I know you mentioned there are uh, multiple different people from all over the place. Are you training with someone up, upcoming that we should be on the lookout for? Shoot, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Uh, there's this 20 year old kid I saw today who like, he was like homeschooled and did like boxing and wrestling for years he's like I said he's 20 now he's fighting for the PFL he's 4-0 I don't know his name whatsoever he's from Tennessee oh. and he's <laughs> Ru and he's Russian so you, if you if anyone's really interested they could do the they could deduce and figure out who this is I guess um but yeah I met his father and like he was like homeschooled and all that his whole life he's throwing spinning back kicks and like just looking like really fluid um so yeah that, that's the mystery up and comer to look out for and then uh there's a uh, you know, there's UFC guys. There's so many stuff. Like that guy, uh, Ian Gary, who's in my division. Um, he's a beast. He's down uh, down here at Stanford. We've been getting some work together. Uh, so many. Like uh, I've gotten to go with guys like Jason Jackson, who's like a beast. And there's like a lot of people. And it's, so, you know, it's it's just been a lot of fun. So we should see a lot of those names come up soon. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are already <laughs> up. But uh, yeah. Yeah. You'll see those names. You'll awesome. see those names and that person I couldn't name, who like would have been like a legit like, <laughs> up and comer, like answer to the question. But yeah, you know, it's it's okay. We'll find out when he pops up. We'll be like, oh, that's who Mickey was talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, now we it. know. That's, that's it. it. <laughs> you yeah. can tag him. We'll know. But you know what? That's who he was talking about. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of uh, fighting and recovery as well, um, like you said, you had. How long are you training in a day and how long does it take you to recover after a major fight? And I know your last fight was in December and you have another one right. upcoming next month as well. Right. So um, recovery is like super important. It's hard. It's hard to do because like, so I'm practicing like two times a day for like hour and a half, like sweating out like 10 pounds of water, like going hard, like going hard. And then, uh, you know, I, I've been using like ice baths and uh and like uh hot tubs, like doing like contrast baths. Uh, I did cryotherapy yesterday. Uh, you know, you do a lot to try to recover. Really, the best thing is just to like, I think it's like to get good sleep and really like, you know, um, that's like the best. You know, sleep's like the ultimate recovery. That it's taking care of your body and like healing you. Um, but yeah, I try and do some of those things. I, I actually done a uh, yoga t twice since I've been down here and uh. That I also sweat out buckets, but, you know, it was, it, it, you know, it was a nice change of pace, like putting my body in different positions. I enjoyed it. Mm. I'm gonna is keep is doing it hot it. yoga or is it regular yoga? So it's definitely hot in there. People keep asking me this. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely hot in there, but I don't think it's called hot yoga. Like, I think it's just like medium, like it's just medium hot, but like, it, I mean, it's definitely okay. hot. It's over hundred degrees for sure. And uh, so but it's, it's called flow. It's called flow yoga mm. like hot yoga is another option on the schedule wow. this is called flow but it's hot as heck <laughs> i think hot i was yoga, about to, I was about to say, I, was I was about to curse but I, I didn't know if you're trying to keep this interview clean or whatnot go for it hey just be yourself that's all, all right, this is the, yeah this is the digital age <laughs> yep exactly we yeah. can bleep it out it's fine you're good 
right. I was gonna say about hot yoga is because I take hot yoga and it's usually about 100 15 to 120 degrees in in the yoga space I take yoga so I get it an hour workout the amount you sweat is insane yeah I've done hot yoga before and I'm, I'm like sliding like all like because <laughs> just from like the suds like my yeah. sweat suds like it's crazy oh uh, that's insane yeah. um besides yoga is there any other kind of workout that you have incorporated um, that you probably have never done before um Mm, no nope <laughs> same type okay. stuff just but uh but like i would say i almost like i like removed some things a little bit like it's, like i used to like be a big time like like runner and thinking running was important uh i more like just do like rounds and like training and like long rounds and stuff like that where it's more sports mm. specific um and that i found that um has been like very helpful Sometimes like I'd be running or like doing like all like accessory work and like I've hurt myself doing it. But then uh, you know, if, when I'm just like doing my thing and like like fighting kind of like I uh which is what I should be practicing the most, um, mm. I find I don't get hurt as much, believe it or not. <laughs> Sounds right <very, laughs> kind of like wow. ironic, right? Yeah. yeah, but uh yeah. Um, so I know you're amazing at jujitsu and your opponents know that um our friend chris that we have mutual friend in common mentioned that you have been incorporating boxing and some of the other mma elements in there as well how is that working out into your um you know your previous stuff that you have been doing so first of all shout out chris bush <laughs> great yeah. man the bush the whole, whole bush family chris bush the man nick bush the man and they come from a great family there's some really right, 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 right. All right. Yes. <laughs> so, um, I'm oh, so we're always working everything, mm. right? Like jujitsu was kind of like known as my specialty, and mm. you know, it still is. But I, for years, I've been, you know, developing my striking and uh, all different aspects, all the aspects necessary uh, for the game, and then more like my own techniques that really only like. Like I can, I can kind of do that like fit me, fit my body, my, you know, my game. And uh, if, if you aren't like world-class in like wrestling, jujitsu, kickboxing, which kickboxing Muay Thai, which means Muay Thai means you also hit with elbows and knees. If you're not like world-class in at least those three things and probably boxing, like you're going to get exposed and someone will beat you for sure one of these things you got to be like that's why it's that's why it's such a great sport but also so hard because like it's just so much you got to do you know what i mean like you got to become a master at a bunch of different arts and then also the game of like mixed martial arts so it's just you know i i know like my best years are like still to come like i think i'll be a champion when i'm like 35 36 i believe i will be by uh by 36 there you go you know and then uh and I got like, I just turned 30. So I got like, uh, you know, I think I got about 10 years. Like to, I'd, I'd like to do this till I'm 40. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Um, then I got to figure of... some other stuff out. See, there you go. Yeah, but you got some time. You got 10 years to figure it out. You're fine. Yeah. I, I think it's good on the time crunch. I, you agree with my calculations? Uh, yeah. Well, it's you funny. concur? I concur. Right. Cool. <laughs> um, as we were talking about our mutual friend, Chris, um, I know... Uh, you also, your hometown, Greenbrook, um, it's very important to you. You're, you're a Jersey guy. We both went to Rutgers, by the way. We have that in common. Um, oh, so, yeah. So um, how is it when you, you know, go away to train, like you're, you're in Florida right now, how much do you miss it? And having your family, I know you're close with your younger sister. And how does that, the difference between being away from them? That, like, you know, that part sucks. Um it's not it's you know that like I, I don't like like I, I like being able to see my uh like my family my, I'm like family's important to me like pretty much all my mm -hmm. family's in Jersey I sum up in Boston and that's pretty much it you know mm -hmm. um but my one sister's down here in Florida um mm -hmm. now at like working at like the uh gym that I'm training at doing like stuff like like uh 
uh, the business side, like she she always has with me. Um, and she's doing she like expanded her role too. And uh, but yeah, like my parents and my like baby sisters, like I definitely like miss them. But like, so I remember um, <clears throat> my dad told me this story actually about my mom's dad, uh, where he was a uh, he his parents had moved from Italy to um, the US and he was like working and you know becoming successful busting his ass and he uh he said he gets offered like, like a big job in uh I think it was like in New Jersey and they had lived in New York right mm -hmm. um and he goes like to his dad and he's like like looked at like you know I'm I got this opportunity I'm, I'm not gonna be able to like see you as much like you know I'm, I'm you know I'm not gonna be able to be around like to like the same degree like and like my so my great grandpa my grandfather's dad is like what do i care like this is this is good for your family this is good for you i moved from italy mm. away from my family to a different country you're talking about going to a state a different state next <laughs> dude get out of here it's good for you it's good for your family <laughs> get out of here and me spending time down here which i'm going to be doing a lot more of mm -hmm. is good for me going to be good for my family uh is good for my career it's what i uh need to do so mm -hmm. you know it's uh it's good it's good <laughs> no i love that and speaking of career um what is your i know you just mentioned you you want to stay in the league or until you're 40 or about 39 to 40 what is the end career goal what do you want to achieve by that age so i have to be a ufc champion um that's you know that's my <clears throat> that's my purpose right now you know what I mean that's what, like gets me out of bed like that's stuff I like meditate on and like you know I do all all that stuff that visualization and I I do the think and grow rich techniques and I put my energy and I think it and I, I do all that stuff um so that's what I want to accomplish I want to put on some good you know some great fights I want to you know make a bunch of money and you know uh have some fun doing it no, I love that. Uh, so a lot of manifestation and positive vibes basically out there. I yeah, like that. I'm, I'm I'm newer to it, but like I'm I'm about to be a problem with it. Like I'm <laughs> I'm getting I'm gonna like like I, I do at anything I do, I'm gonna get really good at it. It's good. Yeah, there you go. And going off of that, um, you know, manifestation and positive vibes, is there a motto or a quote that has like stood out to you that you're just like I'm just going to keep going because I, you know, you saw a quote that just said, don't give up, you're closer to your dreams or something along those lines. Nah, I'm, I, don't, I read the book Think and Grow Rich and I got more, I, or I read the first, I, I'm still like, I'm, I'm on like chapter five, but I have to like, because I haven't read it in a while because I've really just been like kind of working in the stuff I got already. But I, in the first three chapters, I got more than I got from three different like mental coaches, like mind coaches. And I, yeah, so I, I would say check that book out if you, that would give you much more than a, any BS motivational quote. You know what I mean? Like it's, it, it will <laughs> level you up. It'll, it'll uh, help you like, you know, think. And like, if you think bad thoughts, like, like bad things are going to happen. It, like the, basically like the finding of the book is like people who are in poverty and have crappy lives and are like, Oh, I just got bad luck. I just got bad luck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You stay having that because that's what you keep telling yourself and like doing things. Mm -hmm. So you got to like be, kind of vigilant and like when you have these thoughts you got to kind of be like no that's not true like i'm gonna work harder i'm gonna get this done i'm gonna do what you know what i mean like i'm gonna i'm gonna accomplish my goals i already i could i could feel it i could smell it i could taste exactly. it that's important yeah you trick your subconscious so like um i'm trying to kind of impart what i like got from it but like you can if you can like if you want you know a million dollars you gotta put yourself in the mindset where you already have that million dollars right that's like a thing for the book and like try and like be like yeah i'm sitting here with my bag of money like this is sweet i can do whatever you know i can do what i want here i can i have no worry like certain things are paid off i have no worries right, how am i going to invest this million dollars that i have because i want to turn this into more but oh man it feels good to have this mill yeah does that make yeah. sense yes no for sure you gotta act uh, like you have it already before you know you can no, you gotta I get trick it. your subconscious. That's right. That's and then right. It'll, it'll it'll manifest itself in uh, <laughs> reality. 
I love that. I love that because I've been on that positive uh, affirmation stuff as well. So it's true. When you, you think positive thoughts, like positive, yes, of course. <laughs> I do yoga, so you got to do it, right? I mean, uh, doing it for like like a week or two. So like I'm new to it too. And like, maybe you should check back with me and see if I'm still on it. But uh, I'm going to try and like actually like <laughs> legit stick to it. <clears throat> Hold you accountable. And, like, I'm going to try and get better at it. Cause like, I got like a monkey brain. Like I like, mm. you know what I mean? Like it's not like, you know, it's not uh, that easy. It's not e- really that easy. Like I- I'll be sometimes doing it and I'll have to start the thing over. Like I- I'll do like, these guided ones. And I'll have to mm. start it over like three times. Cause I, I-, I found myself thinking about this or that. Yeah. I and bet, like kind of I mean, not paying attention. And so uh, based off of that, is there anything else you do on your downtime besides the meditation and or reading a book? But what is uh, other activities or hobbies have you picked up when you're on your downtime? I mean, I guess uh, you could add yoga to that list, but normally and for forever, it was always like, I don't know, I like hang out with friends or like, I don't know, I, don't, <laughs> I, like, I like playing cards. Like I like, you know, I like, but uh yeah I don't have too many hobbies I like playing games and I like like the fight game and you know now right now while I'm in Canada stuff I just pretty much like eat sleep train take naps like mm. you know yeah. I'm just like hyper focused but like I enjoy it because it's I'm just like I'm all up in like my purpose you know what I mean mm. mm-hmm. is there any certain kind of music you listen to to get into your uh you know, the mindset, the trainer mindset, the, the fighting mindset. Like for me, when I go to the gym and I have to hit leg day, my go-to song is LL Cool J's Headstrong. Like that, that's, it gets All me right. going. <laughs> Do All you right. have a pump up song that's like, okay, you know what? I wasn't feeling for a training session, but now I'm ready. So mine, like all over the place. Uh, it could be so, just some, any song like that I'm feeling. Like, I guess ultimately, <clears throat> there's no song that I really listen to while I'm like working out and training mm. because like when I fight like it's just the crowd noise and like my coaches and just the mm. grunts and punches and fight you know what I mean so mm-hmm. at the gym like I you know the, I don't have headphones on or I'm not listening to anything in particular on my way there I might like you know try and like get in the zone with some something like that mm-hmm. um what am I what am I been listening to I listen to like like that shoot 'em up bang bang rap tough tough talk okay. yeah, i like that stuff you know okay. what I, mean? I like that a lot um i was also listening to uh what was it uh misery business uh but not by paramore i was listening to oh. it by uh machine gun kelly oh okay it's a good okay. song you got you guys you know whoever's watching this should listen to that it's, it's, it's just yeah. a fun song <laughs> i'm in a bit of a minute or it's just it's good there you go. See, and we got a little bit of singing in there too. Look yeah, at that. maybe that could be one of your things. <laughs> yeah, I got. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, that could be something. So, did you enjoy the Super Bowl halftime show? That did happen. With the- Heck yeah, best one I've, yeah. I've seen. Right, hands down, hands down. Yeah, no Amazing. doubt about it. No doubt about it. No doubt. My playlist was already uplisted, but uh, updated. But after that, I had to update even more. I was like, how did I miss these songs? But. yeah oh it's great yeah okay. all, i yeah every song was was you know it was great eminem 50 cent dre snoop mary j blige right that that was everyone mm-hmm. yeah uh, kendrick yeah, kendrick kendrick uh yeah. 50 cent popping up doing you know him Who? doing his thing 50 cent 50 yeah and they're yeah, hating 50 on 50 cents cent. crazy <laughs> crazy <laughs> him hanging upside down made me a little nervous so i was like oh uh do we want to be doing <laughs> first of all he's not that fat second of all like 50 cents always been like you know he's brolic diesel like he's badass he's got you know yeah. he's the man no, not, in, I, <laughs> not in the fat sense he just looks very bulky and i'm like oh uh i don't know what he's hanging off of but i wonder how God. long he's hanging upside down like blood probably brushed into his head you know <laughs> <laughs> probably we but did this interview that. hanging upside down like we'd be looking pretty jacked up i bet i i think within the first two questions we yeah it would not be <laughs> yo that that's such a good idea <laughs> upside down interviews if you upside don't do down. that i'm gonna i'm gonna do that i'm gonna start like a podcast or something there you go uh, see i'm just giving you new career ideas right now no what we can do is the next time after you fight us upside over, down interviews it. <laughs> and then they get like head rushes and they say like crazy shit like oh they've got to do that 
see, no, I have an idea. After your fight um, in April, after that, we can do that interview. But we can try. We can try. Might have the to do it at a gym, though. Yeah, upside down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of the logistics. I guess, like, I would need to invest in probably, like, those boots that, like, you can hang. Like, I'm just thinking, mm-hmm. like, oh, I'd hang off, like, the back of my bed, like, like, uh, like the okay. Spider-Man kiss style. But, you know what I mean? But I, Even- I would have to do the, uh, yeah, I'd have to invest in some boots and, like, they have those <laughs> things. I think people hurt their heads with them. They fall down and just crack their heads. Yeah, so let's, let's uh, make sure we have... It's a risky podcast, nuts. but you know what I mean? You got to risk it for the biscuits. No, hey, you know, you gotta do no it nuts, no stuff. glory. <laughs> there you go. got to go. go for it. it, it it's going to be that one TikTok video that goes viral. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Spe- yeah. Someone's going to pass out. Yeah. Why not? Let's see how long it takes like, after after two questions, maybe. Pop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm no scientist. Leave that to the scientists in Washington. Figure that one out. There you go. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> now, you being from New Jersey, I gotta ask you this question. This is uh, this is gonna be your last question, okay? Ready? Taylor Ham or Pork Roll? Which one is it? All right. But I say North Central and. Uh, there they call it both things <laughs> like in places that i go near there if i go like a little bit north they call it uh taylor ham go a little south they call it pork roll right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah what are you do you have an answer for that you have a definitive i i don't can you know what i don't eat meat <laughs> See, we're so the I, ones. i'm like i'm like i'm not even in this conversation Thank this you very much. <laughs> proves that there's a central jersey actually See, there you go. I just proved it without even realizing it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We, yeah, we're doing big things here. Yeah, we really are. <laughs> All right, so everyone <laughs> tune into uh, Mickey Gall's fight in April against Mike Mowat. And uh, Mickey, thank you so much for taking your time out to do this. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Like I said, anything for the Bush brothers. It's nice to meet you. Anytime you want to do this, let me know. Absolutely. I still, we still have to figure out the upside down interview situation. Maybe oh, I wait, would you're hang upside to, you're, down. You're, you're, you're definitely trying to take that now. You didn't no, really interested. It. I was thinking about making a podcast, but. No, you can do it. You can, it's, it's all you. <laughs> I just want to say, I'll sit like this and you can do it. So we'll, we'll, we'll try it out. Oh, well, see, it's no, fun. that's, I won't participate in an interview like that. You would have to be upside oh. down as well. See, now, if, if two people do it, we're all both going to be on the floor, you know, passed out. Is that even worth it then? Find out. I guess we will. Stay tuned, everybody. (laughs) Stay tuned.